Hi guys, welcome back to RTS Nostalgia. This is a series where I relieve the memories of my good old days, oh, so called golden age of RTS games back in the 90s when I was still in school. I still remember those great days when RTS genre was basically the number one genre on the market of PC games, even better than FPS shooters. Those days are long gone, but still, I hope RTS one day will come back to glory. That's why I'm developing my own RTS game called Nuke Them All, so hopefully you can play it as well, and this will bring you some memories. Today I'm checking out Crush, Kill and Destroy 2 Crossfire, which was one of my favorite games back in 1998. This is a simple but very complicated and difficult at the same time RTS game about the battle between terrains and mutants and we have also Protoss I guess it's called differently here not as not a Starcraft I already forgot it's been 25 day years since I last played it anyways there were some aliens as well so how we start it okay Right, we have three evolved as basically mutants, series 9 is aliens and survival. Alright, let's do one mission and see how it, go how it goes. Against me. Okay, Commander, here is the situation. 40 years ago, the survivor army fought the freaks. We, the new survivors, left early to repair cavalry. All right. It took longer than we thought. So part of it. Those little buggies are basically right, <laughs> a big wheel right, tracks in my game. Yes. We need to All get right, away. We are oil. All right, but I'm not seeing the rig. Yes. Yes. Maybe in this mission there is All no right, construction. Some missions um, they don't have construction. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, back on high speed. I'm there. I don't know why. Okay. Is there a harvester? The like the graph explosions in 1998, that was really it. The funny thing the computer keeps rebuilding. Yes. Why do I need engineer? I don't, I don't have any buildings. I think that's the main base. Alright, let's just get them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll win this one. Okay, it was an easy yeah. mission. What the hell? Yes. Alright, me. And this is the uh, memories for the first one. Well, my truck dial it. Mm -hmm. Love the music in this one. Crush kill in this world. It's a simple game, but it was quite difficult to win. Enemies were really strong, but they usually run out of well very quickly, and then you win. Alright, I guess we won this one. Okay. 
Now they're killing the last harvester. It's outside of this I think we won the mission. Yeah? Yep. No? Maybe I'm somebody there. else is still I'm up there. there. On top I'm of the map. There. This is from the first game. Yep. Yep. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Nothing here. Yep. What is the sound? Yep. Oh. oh, that's my base actually over there. Yep. Yep. Oh, I I'm didn't there. notice it. I'm there. I'm there. We have actually a base here. I'm there. I'm Interesting. There. Can we yes, repair sir. it? Yes. Yeah, we're repairing. Yes. Moving. Yes. All right. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's repair yes. everything. Yes. Yes. Okay. Controls are very confusing right. because it's inverted yeah. in all games. Right you left click in modern games, you right click. So, interface is on the right. I love. The simplicity of this interface, everything is easy. I think this is the best interface in all RTS games I've ever seen. It doesn't take half of the screen like in StarCraft and Command and Conquer. It's very clean, easy, and very easy to use. And you can have several production lines. So if you're making the game, I think this is the best interface you can have in the games. Okay, let's continue our recording. <coughs> oh, oops, no. Our life still. <coughs> recording. Recording. Okay, with all games, it's really difficult to record. I try OBS, I try. I'm Teisha, I'm getting yes. all these black screens. Yes. Alright, yep. yep. I think I'm we are still recording. Okay. Yes. Let's try yes, to sir. fix. Yes. There are no rally points, it's already basic. We can hell? fix some yes. of our buildings. This is yes, headquarters, sir. barracks, motor okay, pool. <laughs> yeah, my son, my baby Emilio is with me, yep. playing. Yep. You'll hear his okay. excitement. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Yes. Engineers. What the hell? Yes. Let's Alrighty. leave them here. Yes. Okay. What else we can build here in this first mission? A research lab to upgrade. Power station. It's a refinery, basically. Research lab. It, research lab helps us upgrade the building. Then. Okay. It's building automatically. We just need. We can also do armory. Forgot what armory is doing. But now we have research lab and we can upgrade our main building. If you play it, nuke them all. This is how we upgrade in my game as well. Enemies are already attacking. Really hard. Yeah, that's right, Emilia. Okay. Let's see what new units we can build after we upgrade. We have a mini-map now, but you cannot see it, unfortunately. It's outside of your view. Yes, right. Okay, we're upgrading motor pool. Then we can build some extra units as well. We researched. We researched. Let's research this one as well. Now I have a new tank. Yeah. And this is a rig. Mobile rig to get more oil like this because this one is almost done. Okay. Yes. Fix yes. it quickly. Yes. Yes. Okay. I wish we could build more harvesters, right, but yes. this is first mission. Yes, so we cannot yes. build the tanks here. <laughs> what armory is doing? I forgot. Oh, we can research the research lab. <laughs> that's right, Emilio. What is this button for? That's a uh, to sell. Research and that's menu. We have now Grenadier. And this is our mobile rig. Yes. 
we quickly run out of oil, so it's very important to expand in this game. And when the enemies run out of oil, that's when you win. Okay. Where is my grenadier? Ah, no, up there. Perfect. He throws grenades. Infantry is very weak in this game, so have to be building tanks. Oh, now I can build the turrets. Yeah, that's it. You see how easy and how much better this interface com compared to Command and Conquer? You can build different things at the same time. You don't need to wait. And you can do constructibles as well, which is very fun. Like this radar. What is that? APC, yeah. Small APC with increased speed or an ra radar, for example, you can do. And then you can build it. Very fun mechanics. I haven't seen this used in other games, by the way, which makes this one very original as well. Let's put one more. So now we get this little APC. We can put our robots inside. I mean the, the soldiers and they will be stronger. So this game, even though it's so old, has a lot more than many modern games. Like constructibles, clean interface, it's a lot to learn from classics like this. Okay, I think we can go and try to win this one. I don't have much time to play. So let's try to win this one quickly. I'm out of money anyway. We have two sentry guns in case they attack. We have something to stop them. Let's go try to finish the mission. It's also funny how they, the AI works. <laughs> they actually surrender, run away here, go back. It's quite a good AI for a simple old game like this. We have a rig here. Where are we going? Everybody's going around. Oh my god, there are so many of them. And back and forth. This is their base, I guess. Yay! Kill them! Alright. I guess we win this one. I need to build few more units. Yeah, because we are out of units. Let's build few more units to win this one. Alright. I think there were sabotage units as well in the game. Let's kill the main base. And then we can finish the mission. And the mutants will be done. Okay. Hope you like this one. It's a simple yet very deep game with very clean interface. Yes, sir. Very easy to understand mechanics. <coughs> and a lot of fun, a lot of challenge. The first mission is obviously very easy, but the next missions will have a lot of tanks, rocket launchers, turrets, and it's quite difficult. Plus you can play against aliens, Heroes 9. find mechs, there are some mechs in the map that you can find. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, we just need to feel, kill everyone. Let's bring more units. Okay, that's right, we have some more units here. Let's quickly help. Yeah. Oh, guys, and oh, they go around. Oh, they go. They, they cannot go on the water. All right. We can also reduce and increase the speed see? to make the game like it's in slow motion. So that's also very unusual for old strategy like this. Now I'm using in slow motion. See. Very cool. Right, I think that's it. We won. Look at this explosion. For 1998, it's amazing. 
So that was Crush, Kill and Destroy Part 2 Crossfire, one of my favorite inspirations and I really hope one day they'll make Part 3 That's all for today guys, take care, let's bring the glory to RTS again, bye And don't forget to play my game, nuke them all on Steam